And every year out at Deer Camp is the annual Yamaha Writers event, where industry riders from all over get to come out and enjoy the Yamaha lineup of ATVs and side-by-sides, as well as do some hunting. Dick Williams, a longtime handgun hunter, has joined us this year, and we'll join him out in the field as he hunts with a handgun. It's a 44 Special. It's an older model, Smith & Wesson, and um, it's not a design for a massively heavy cartridge, although we could load that up pretty heavily if we wanted to. I just wanted to use all factory stuff. The biggest thing about it is it belonged to a guy named James Guthrie, a good friend of mine, writer, editor, and he passed away very suddenly at the age of 38. And I got a call and a list of, of his guns. Uh, his wife was selling the estate. And I put a bid on in this and got it. It's one of my favorite all-time cartridges. Um, and I like the end frame Smiths, and it was James's, so I thought that would be perfect. And it's more of a in-memory kind of hunt, very special. It's a dandy this morning. We just couldn't get him to where I had a view and get the sights on him, but what a nice rack on him. A little trouble keeping him straight from the second best one in there for a bit, but as it got lighter, it got easier, easier, and just more and more frustrating when he would not come to an opening where I could get at him through the brush. Great looking deer. Great morning. You know, we've been moving Dick around to a couple of different locations, having quite a few encounters. It's just a matter of now getting him set up in the right situation. And the weather has finally changed a little bit more in our favor. It's been raining almost nonstop since they got here, but now it's starting to dry up. The deer are getting on their feet, and we think we've got him positioned exactly where we need to to pull the trigger. Sight picture looked pretty good, but it was dark. Sights are dark. They looked like they're in the right spot. He reacted like he was hit somewhere in the cavity. <laughs> I mean, I'm... So, James, if he's down, it's for you. If he's not down, on me. After years of handgun hunting and long range competition, I either got buck fever or stupid or both. Uh, I pushed the light envelope, tried to take a shot with iron sights, maybe three to five minutes before there was adequate light. Um, we hit him high in the back, 
from all appearances on that, it was above the lung because there was no blood later, no blood trail, but it was below the backbone because he showed no shock or trauma on that impact. When you do something like that, it's mixed emotions. He was so good looking, I'd like to see him on somebody's wall. On the other hand, my mistake, I hope he has many happy marriages between now and when he's harvested, makes lots of little baby deer that grow up to be as big and good looking as he is. All told, it was a great, great time. We're happy to report that Dick's deer was spotted happily chasing does two weeks later. And who knows, perhaps Dick can get another crack at him next season.